you can't use fluffy language. You have to be clear about what's happened. I'll give you fluffy language. Well, some people say, like, she's gone. Well, where, you would say to me, well, where has she gone? <laughs> I'm mom. <laughs> and Tyler. My son. Mm. And this is... Name? Hayden! It's how you have that conversation with your children. How do you tell them that someone that they love, that lives with them, has passed away? And I remember sitting on the sofa, just agonising how I'd tell them. I woke up Hayden and we went downstairs. And I, I saw Mum's face and I just thought, well, this isn't going to be a very good day. And we sat down and we hugged and we cried. And we talked. We talked for a long time, didn't we? But it's a conversation I'm really glad that we had because it meant then we all knew at any point we could come back to talking openly and honestly about Grandma and we've always done that since, haven't we? Yes. Ever since that day. Nintendo helps because it just... Well, it makes me feel a lot happier. It's something that I really enjoy. And if we're doing it, it doesn't feel like we've set aside a time to talk about something that would really be upsetting. But if we're, if we're doing well and we want to talk about something, we can and we wouldn't be focusing on it too much. I think for children, it's honesty. They deserve you to be honest, particularly as both my children think literally, I have to be very careful. It's important because I wouldn't understand it any other way. If someone said, for example, she's gone to a better place, I would have said, what, they've upgraded? Or there's another hospice somewhere? is better or if she's gone she's gone where on holiday i prefer it if i knew exactly what happened with no one softening it mum's passed away for nearly four years ago christmas and we can talk about her openly now don't we and we just we just love to talk about her remember all the good things all the funny things because we always used to annoy her with all the tinsel and yeah. ribbons didn't we <laughs> that duty has been passed down to me to be annoyed by every little thing <laughs> <laughs> it's just important people talk and talk openly and don't be frightened to talk to children I think that's a massive problem lots of people think they're children they're children yes they are children but they still have feelings and thoughts and they need to be talked to considered and be part of the grieving process because they are <laughs>